My name is Patricio Chavez and I'm here at Mojave Land doing the Desert Dairy Residency in April of 2022. Well, there were certain things I wanted to, that I knew one was to deal with or think about the decisive moment of Cartier Bresson and what's happening with the planet um, and looking at my own background and training, thinking about modernism and so that, that was my starting point. And then luckily, I brought a, an old projector of Cartier-Bresson's work and projected them onto the dunes, to the barn wall, to the trees on the property, and re-photographed them at night. I saw a film recently, From Darkroom to Daylight, and there someone, a photographer talks about going to move forward to go back. So I've been thinking about this idea and have used in the past projections onto different surfaces in the landscape to get across different layers or levels of ideas and it seemed a perfect thing to do to bring analog and digital together. I brought a digital printer with my analog materials to sort of bridge that gap technically speaking and conceptually speaking as well. So this image here, the man jumping over the water by Cartier-Bresson uh, behind a train station in Paris is a really important I image in the history, my own history and the history of photography. When I first saw this, there was something about it that was extremely important along seeing the work with Miguel Gandard at the same time, who photographs New Mexico culture and people. So seeing this and Miguel's work uh, changed my life. Actually, I went from a psychology major to an art, fine arts major. So I wanted to revisit this image and the importance of it in my life, thinking to the, back to the decisive moment that we're in again, in terms of our planet, and at the same time, uh, the decisive moment and the magic of photography. This particular one was projected onto the Barn. This is also corrugated metal that I laid down and paint above it of uh, the wall. So I love the, you know, what, what I guess would be considered defects. And this is also a departure for me because my work has mostly been very kind of precious photographic work, very exact, very, uh, you know, no dust, that kind of thing. So, Getting away from that kind of aesthetic to this has been really important for me in my work. The importance of the land in my work uh, has always been there. And as a Chicano artist in particular, looking at places like the landscape between New Mexico, where I'm from, and California, where I live now, and places like Chicano Park, for example, and thinking about uh, indigenous peoples and their relationship to the land. Coming out here, I have that same feeling of that kind of transition, transitory in between liminal space. Uh, and it's something I wanted to kind of capture visually as much as I could, that kind of transitory in between experience. And that's what's for me, one of the most prominent aspects of my experience here in the landscape. This was photographed on the dunes at the dairy, desert dairy property, and those are dunes in the back which look like water, and then it turns out I'm seeing all of these boats in the dunes and in the landscape here on the sand, so it was this, you know, again, this kind of magic that this decisive moment in Cartier-Bresson, how things come together photographically, compositionally, aesthetically, socially, politically. This has been a really important experience for me. And, you know, this didn't exist a week ago, but now it does. And that's part of the magic, I think, of Desert Dairy. And I think this is a pivotal time in my life and my work. And, uh, and Ted's support.